in this video interesting day today uh, obviously we've got scooters to try out so we've tried that out yay and there's um, something I need to talk about is I've just dropped my daughter off for her SATs which to our American friends uh, is the final exams of what we call junior school um, sort of preschool for you like year six of formal education and year seven upwards is high school for you guys and yeah she's um, she's nervous as, you, as you'd imagine and uh, was a little worried that she won't do very well things like that in fact the last few days she's been quite stressed it, it kind of got me thinking it got me thinking about the formal education system here in in the western world at least in Europe and things like that is it really the right thing to do? The summer's calling See, let me um, rephrase that. Are we doing the right thing for our kids in this country when it comes to education? Because I saw a, uh, a meme that have been doing the rounds on Facebook by one of my friends who has grown up to become a teacher himself. I have teachers in my family. My brother-in-law um, is a teacher and is working on becoming, becoming a professor. But you know, he started in high schools and junior schools and things like that. And there's definitely a debate to be had, I think. Let me read the meme to you, because it goes something like this. Everyone has the potential to be a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. Apparently a quote from Albert Einstein. Now, that dude knew what he was talking about. <laughs> and it's definitely something that I, myself, throughout my adult life, um, especially my younger adult life, have kind of carried with me, because I see we're quite lucky that it, in the, the cheeky parrot, um, thrived quite well on the current education model um, she's very good at remembering facts and figures she you know she's naturally gifted at studying and, and remembering things and applying those things so she does quite well she takes after her mum in that regard um, myself although on paper I'm quite clever myself um, I didn't do so well at least I didn't feel I did so well in the sort of formal education thing it was a lot harder for me I mean to to get the grades that I did it, it felt like I had to study like three times harder than everyone else you know um, may or may not have been the case but that's what it felt like at the time and yes okay I initially went on to a career in in the medical field um, and uh, recent uh, brain injury and mental health um, issues have obviously stopped all that ever happening again um, but it's only recently that I've actually felt a, self, a sense of self-worth, or started to at least. Let me explain. <laughs> yes! Shout out to the Park Cafe. You guys are awesome, as always. Mmm. Yeah, if they've got a website, I'll... You win! But yeah, um, I have to admit, I mean, I can only speak for myself here, but I only... I went through my entire young adult life thinking I was lesser than everyone else. Um, still have that now, really. Um, especially in the medical career, you know, you come across people who are so clever and so naturally... Um, academic and like I used to work in pharmacy and a lot of that is, is memorizing what all the drugs do and how they affect your body and all that stuff so while I 
really love the science behind it. Um, in terms of the everyday application and just remembering straight off the cuff, um, the actions and uses of the various drugs and things like that, in, in hospital pharmacy at least, um, it took me a couple of seconds extra, which I found people who were more naturally inclined to, you know, remember stuff would um, get really frustrated with me. Now, as it turns out, um, that was probably the first sign of my own, um, you know, mild mental health issue where, you know, my, as, as, as I've got on older, my actual memory recall um, has actually got worse and worse. Um, now under control of drugs and things like that, uh, but if I hadn't been to see my GP, then maybe it would have been worse than it is. But even notwithstanding that, um, it didn't really click that I actually was quite intelligent and actually was quite talented and skilled. Their words, not mine. Although, you know, I am awesome. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> it didn't really click until I started going into filmmaking. Um, retrospectively, I should have done that in the first place because looking back at my childhood, there was never a time I didn't have some kind of snappy snaps camera in my hand or anything like that. Until I got into that with, with actual professional filmmakers who've been doing it for years and years and years and years and years. And now I'm there as some kind of, you know, 30-something, you know, green beyond the years noob. And then people are starting to give me feedback saying that I'm really good at this. Like, are you sure you're a new person? Blah, blah, blah. Which was strange. Very strange. Because it's like, well, how come you guys can't do this thing that I'm doing? Because you're better than me, you've been working longer than me. This is just natural to me and not, not in a show off way, it was just like, it was confusing. And then obviously the, the illness happened and we had two, two years off. Long road, road to recovery and learning to speak again with all this and uh, then we formed Team Reflector and we meet Nick and Dean, now my two best friends in the world as well as my business partners. And through that we, we start working on films again. Uh, we're working on Hymns of Avaras at the moment, an indie horror film. Um, Click that link there and maybe give us a donation if you can afford it, you know, pay for our petrol money and all that. <laughs> and again, I'm meeting these professional filmmakers who've been doing it for 20 years. And they're like, can't get their heads around how I can fly a drone in 3D space through tiny little gaps in trees, how I can, you know, assemble a gimbal in less than five minutes, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, well, but can't you? Well, it's easy, isn't it? Because I didn't think anything of myself. And obviously with old age and wisdom now, I know it's because there were several pieces of paper that told me that I wasn't worth it. That I wasn't as good as the people I work with. Which is complete horseshit. <laughs> So yeah, I guess my question is, is it time to have a look at, at the British education system with a more critical eye? The several Scandinavian countries have, have done a similar thing. Because to me, while there's some wonderful things about the education system, and the, especially the teachers are amazing, you guys do not get paid enough. Um, but you're working within a system or being forced to work within a system which maybe there's teachers out there that, that, that have got really great ideas for different ways to teach a certain subject or different ways to approach a way of teaching but they're not allowed to do it because of the system maybe there's kids out there who are closet geniuses who are the people who are going to invent the next thing that's going to change the world but because a piece of paper told them that they're not clever enough they never do anything with it and in my view, there's a whole untapped resource there of amazing talent and amazing ideas just, just waiting to, to change the world and change people's lives and, and help make the world a better place. But maybe some of these people have been convinced that their ideas aren't worth it compared to the next one. Just something to think about. Right then, let's get this thing back to Mubit Media Towers. And I'll give you my first impressions of it, shall I? So yeah, what do I think of this scooter? 
Yeah, it's, it's actually quite great, to be honest, but as with any product of this kind, there are a few caveats. And those caveats are, I question the QC of the factory that makes these, because, because this is my second unit of this scooter. Uh, the first one, the steering column was loose and no amount of tightening of the various bolts that are in the instructions uh, would fix that. Um, and then this second one, as you can see here, it has a, a spring-loaded kickstand and while I was out shooting with this the kickstand came loose. Now it was an easy fix, all I did was rotate the spring here to go in because the spring had kind of worked its way out from the washer that holds it back and keeps it sort of taut. Um, so what I've done, you can't see on this ping, is, is I've just taken this bolt off and uh, put another washer on, a slightly bigger one, and that's fixed the issue. But considering the price of this thing that it sells for, um, to me, we shouldn't be having these issues on day one. But yeah, I think it's just, just a QC issue. It's not um, Decathlon's fault. In fact, they couldn't be more helpful. I went to the shop and props to you guys in Decathlon Nottingham at the Ikea Retail Park. Those guys were amazing. I'm not being paid to say this. This is just my own experience experience couldn't do enough for me when I went to tell them the problem but on to the positives now this thing rides like a dream I've been riding scooters around around the city for quite a while now various different ones and this is probably the best one I've ever done we've got double suspension on each wheel regardless of what uh, the QC is I had at the start there it is built like a tank I do feel like I could throw this thing around the folding mechanism and the lock mechanism do seem very very robust and the tab that holds it all together when it's folded up is solid metal so I don't think this thing's going anywhere. The other things I like is the uh, actual foot plate is quite low to the ground which possibly might be why the uh, the kickstand um, was having issues on the day of shooting this but it does feel a lot safer it's the lowest foot plate I've ever ridden and it's also the widest as well so it's definitely made for adults it's not like you're getting a teenager's scooter or whatever and, and trying to make it work for you this thing can fit a fully grown fat man like me <laughs> also helps obviously i'm over 40 very much so and uh, it helps having such a wide kick plate that you can put both feet down also you don't have to bend down as much so it's actually better for your knees um, over prolonged use because you're not keeping your foot plate knee bent the whole time you can just keep it straight or whatever and reach the floor quite nicely i love that and just from a pure aesthetics point of view it does look grown up we've got the level look handles on the top here um, I do love that they're attached to the actual body as opposed to other folding scooters where they're usually a separate piece on like a walking stick kind of clip. They're usually held together by just a little piece of elastic and over time that elastic wears off and there's no real way of replacing that I found. So you just end up with the handles just, uh, you know, flopping about whereas on this it's nice, it's a nice solid clip and it's attached to the main steering column shaft and it you know looks really good as well lovely nice big grips and it does look grown up i like the color scheme all my other scooters have been silver um i've had one or two black ones but most have been silver it just looks like an actual commuter vehicle almost all in all i'd definitely give this a solid 8 out of 10 even considering the qc issues but obviously every product has its negatives as well so I thought I'd mention those to you and if that kickstand is an issue um, over time you can either just undo the bolt and uh, just take the kickstand off completely and then it's not flopping about. Easily done. But yeah, hopefully you found that enlightening. I hope what I talked about uh, made sense, made you think and hopefully help some people who maybe are going through the early stages of some mental health issues. You know, there is there is light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to take it one day at a time, be patient, work hard on your recovery and just on general in life and, and you will find it does start to get better. First step, obviously, it would be time to talk, is to go to your GP because, unfortunately, there are quite a lot of uh, waiting lists and things. So the earlier you get to your GP to tell them any problems that you might be having, the better, because then you can go through all the waiting lists. And once you've gone through those waiting lists, it's a lot easier, trust me. But until next week, I have been Moobit, and I'll see you at the next video. ta -ra.
like to move it, move it, fit, 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 